This is going to be the first video in a series where I cover all Elden Ring NPC quest lines and how to complete them. If you enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. Jarbaran's quest takes place in Jarberg, an area that many players may have missed when first playing the game. Jarbaran's quest ties into both Alexander the Warrior Jar as well as Diolos' quest lines. Through the completion of Jarbaran's quest, the player will acquire Diolos' mask, Hoslo's pedal whip, as well as the companion Jar Talisman. Without further ado, let's get into how to complete Jar Baron's quest. Proceed from the artist's shack, Sight of Grace, along the path shown and arrive at the cliffside near the Carrion study hall. From there, begin your descent down, carefully platforming along the slabs until you finally reach Jarberg. Here is where the entirety of Jar Baron's quest will take place with the exception of the overlapping quests of Delos and Alexander the Warrior Jar. Pick up the Grace Site within Jarberg as you will need to rest after you exhaust each step of Jar Baron's dialogue to advance the quest. From the Jarberg site of Grace, proceed over to the stairs and begin speaking with Jar Baron, initiating the quest. He will mention becoming his potentate, however no matter how you answer, you will be unable to serve as his potentate as your skin isn't smooth enough. Not to fret though. Once you've exhausted his dialogue, rest at the Jarberg site of Grace to advance the next step. This is a very common theme with this quest, resting after each dialogue exhaustion. Once rested, you can return to him to continue advancing the quest. The next step has some real action in it as you will actually need to complete a task and not just interact with Jar Baron. Talking to him, he will insist that you pick some of the flowers around the village. Honor his request before again resting at the site of grace. You can then return, informing him that you pick some flowers, upon which he will begin speaking about Alexander the Warrior Jar, inquiring if you've met him in the lands between. He will also offer some more background on him and inform you that he too will become a warrior jar like Alexander. Once this set of dialogue is fully exhausted, you will need to rest yet again. Return to talk to him for the umpteenth time, this time during the conversation he will mention how poachers hunt jars and take them away to smash them, hence why Jarberg is so hidden. Some ominous foreshadowing going on, eh? Exhaust this set of dialogue, rest, and return. This time speaking to him he will mention the arrival of a new potentate, Diolos, to the village of which he is very excited for but also disappointed as he sees Diolos as being a coward. It is important to mention that you must have advanced Diolos' questline far enough that he leaves Volcano Manor or Jar Baron's quest cannot continue. I have a video coming soon on Diolos' questline if you need any help completing it up till this point. As long as Diolos' quest has been advanced properly, then Jar Baron's quest can continue. Rest at the Site of Grace once again. After resting, you can now proceed to the far end of the village to find Diolos in a shack, tending to some jars. He will tell you how he left Volcano Manor and came here to Jarberg. Exhaust his dialogue before reloading the area via a Site of Grace. Once you reload the area, you can visit Jar Baron again to find him fast asleep. Interacting with him does nothing as he would just mutter some nonsense in his sleep. Having rested yet again, you will also need to have spoken to Alexander the Warrior Jar after having defeated Radon. You may be able to continue the quest having not done this, however, if you are having any troubles advancing the quest, try speaking to him on the battlegrounds where you fought Radon. The ominous foreshadowed event is now upon us. An invasion of poachers has occurred, leaving many a jar smashed. You may need to rest multiple times at the site of grace to trigger the invasion. You will know the invasion occurred as multiple jars around Jarberg have now been smashed and Jar Baron will have moved to the center of the village from his usual perch on the stairs. Exhaust Jar Baron's dialogue in this location. Continue further through the village and you will come to Delos bleeding out. 
Hear his final words and tell him what you want in regards to saving the jars before he dies. Time for another reload via Grace. Once reloaded, run back over to Diolosa's body where you will find Jar Baron stuffing Diolosa's remains into himself. Exhaust his dialogue and reload the area yet again. Reloading the area will not only move Jar Baron back to his stairs, but also despawn Diolosa's body. Where his body once was will now be a pickup containing three items. Diolosa's mask, Hoslo's pedal whip, as well as a Newman's ruin. Reload yet again. At this point, you will need to have completed the entirety of Alexander the Warrior Jar's questline and obtained his innards to complete Jar Baron's quest. I have a video on Alexander's quest on my channel that you could check out should you need any help completing it. This will be the final time talking to Jar Baron. It's bittersweet, I know. Gifting Jar Baron Alexander's innards that you obtain by completing Alexander's quest will finish Jar Baron's. You can now rest at the site of grace one final time which will despawn Jar Baron and in his place there will be an item. Collect the companion Jar Talisman obtaining the reward for completing his quest.